Peter said this, under God's mighty hand. I wanna talk about how we live under God. I want you to think about whenever you watch something, enjoy something, listen to something to entertain you, would you say that you're more under the influence of God asking, is this pleasing to God? How do we live under God in a culture increasingly hostile toward God? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the trajectory to drifting mindlessly under culture. And we're gonna take one step back toward being under God in all that we do. To live under God, I've decided to, what? One decision. It could be with your words in your marriage. You're not gonna trash talk her or trash talk him to your friends. You're not gonna belittle your children. You're not gonna gossip, you're not gonna lie, you're gonna speak words of life. It might be you're gonna to commit to pray every night before bed with your children. Every night, you want your children to know we're people of prayer. It might be before you walk out the door, you pray with your spouse, 30 seconds. What's it gonna be? Culture tells us, promote yourself. <laughs> it's all about you. Jesus says, deny yourself. Culture says, consume. Jesus says, it is way more blessed to give than it is to receive. Culture says, hate those who aren't like you. Hate them. If they hurt you, swing back. Curse those who mistreat you. Jesus says, bless those who curse you. Love those who hate you. Culture says, pursue things. Jesus says, pursue eternity. Culture says, pursue happiness. Jesus says, pursue holiness. Today, I'm just gonna ask you to take one step, predetermined decision. If you ask God, I believe he'll show you something. Then we're gonna to commit to it and we're gonna talk about it because God is calling us to be humble, to be dependent on him under his mighty hand and he still has the ability to lift us up in due time.